Hey you guys, on today's video, I'm going to be breaking down one of the most memorized scriptures in the world by most Christians and by every, everybody in the world that knows this psalm. I believe everybody should know Psalm 23 by now. You should be at a point where you can probably recite it even, even if it's being mentioned in a message or or a scripture reading you can probably recite it all the way front with backwards but I'm gonna break it down I'm gonna break it down verse by verse or verses depending on how it's structured how I want to do it so let's get into it the Lord is my shepherd I lack nothing oh I'm reading in a beat but the King James verse said the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want you got everything you need when you with, with with the Lord. You shouldn't have to want anything because God gives you everything. You already have everything you need. That is self-explanatory. That first verse, I really don't need to get into it. But but when you have the Lord as your shepherd, you don't you don't need when you lack nothing, and you when and and you lack nothing, and you shall not want. You can go throughout this life and just live. Because the Lord will cover you every step of the way. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leaves me beside quiet waters. Every God gives you rest. And he's not going to put you. And God is not is not going to put you. And, and he puts you in places where it's quiet. It's peaceful. So that you can rest. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right path for his name's sake. The Lord. The Lord can help you to revitalize you. To revive you. You know what the Lord you know you having a tough week, a tough year, but you know that the Lord can just get, put something in your spirit that just refreshes you. Just, just, he just does it for you. Whether it be a song or a message or a word or, or, or a scripture. A revival for the soul. Every day we need to be revived. And God refreshes your soul. He refreshes you so that you can go on and fight the good fight of faith. He got me along the right path. Faith and faith. God is never going to steal you wrong. God will always put you in the places that he needs you to be. So that you can be successful in this life. So God can show up in your life. He puts you in places and he does not steal you wrong. Here is the one that everybody gets hype on. Even though I walk through the valley of the set of the dark, even though I walk through the valley of the through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and staff be coming. I really don't. That is like for me. That's the meat right there for me. Because even though you in your valley. You don't fear nothing from God. No matter what comes your way, no matter what is the, no matter what's the situation, when it's real hard and you don't know where you're gonna turn, He's with you. He's with you. His rod and the staff that come to you, God, will be in the midst. Of your tribulation, even when even when you're in the valley, he's with you. He's with you in the he's with you on the mountaintop, and he's with you in the valley. He's gonna be there. He's been there. He like in like in verse two. He was there with you when you when you just when you right there when everything's all good. And he's still with you in verse number four when when things get rough, when they get tough. 
You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil and my cup of flows. Them people. <laughs> you try to bring you down. God going to put you at that same. It's going to put you in a place where. God is blessing you. And your enemies can't do nothing. But sit there and just be like. Like they going to be like. Yeah, they're going to be at your doorstep, and they're going to be like, they just, God going to place you ahead of your enemies. And then you're going to be sitting at the same enemies, and they're going to be like, things are going to be turned. You thought they were the head, and you were the, and you were the tail, but, if, but God flips it around, and you the head, and they the tail. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. God just, and you are one of his anointed. And God is going to bless you so that your cup is just overflowing with blessings. And God is just blessing you every single day. Surely, your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. When you got God on your side, when the Lord is with you, His goodness and His love will follow you because that is what's going to cover you all the days of your life. When you think about the goodness of Jesus and all the dumb you, your soul can, can do nothing but cry hallelujah. And His love his love will take you through so much in your life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. You are one of the saints. If you live in the righteous life and you living for God, y'all know that one day we're going to be with him going to dwell in this house forever. Psalm 23. One of the most biggest songs there is. That's one of the songs you need to know. Because that song will, will help you through a lot of times. That song very big and is very inspirational to every believer every single time you got the other scriptures but Psalm 23 it's a special this God's word is special but this word right here is nothing like it it's encouraging it's inspirational it can be used at any time you need it so that was just me Breaking down the 23rd Psalm for this Vita. I hope this blesses somebody like it's blessing me. Take care. God bless.